All right. Number one here, the limit to negative infinity of that function. But the only thing you're really interested in is the order is the same on top and bottom. The answer is just this. The order on the top is the highest power. I got x cubed. The order on the bottom is x to the sixth, but it's the square root of x to the sixth. Six to the half power is three. They both have the same order. This is going to approach a number. The way I get there is I multiply by one over x cubed on the top and one over x to the sixth, which is one over x cubed on the bottom. So when I do that, and a lot of you guys just skip that step, I get that. But then what you have, if you get your limit as x goes to negative infinity, of 1 minus 2 over x cubed, and that's going to, two x, that's going to make it go to 0, over, and you distribute this into the radical, 16 plus 1 over x4. Guys, we remember, anytime you have a limit as x goes to infinity, 1 over any x power, right, goes to 0. And I get 1 over the square root of 16. And a lot of you tomorrow are going to answer that this is 1 fourth. And you're going to get seven points out of ten in my class. Because I agree it's one-fourth. But the sign of this has to be checked. And when I plug in negative infinity into x cubed, guys, negative, negative, negative is a negative. When I put negative infinity into 16x6, it is a positive. Square root of a positive is still positive. Negative by a positive is a negative. All right? Again, checking the sign when you're going to infinity. When you don't have radicals, it's much easier, right? Because they're like powers. But it's still about the order and top and bottom either matching or not matching. On number two, it is a chain rule, and it is big and long, and it starts with do the power rule. Junk to the third power is three junk to the second power. What's the junk? sign of this argument. Then we say, hey, what's the derivative of sine? Cosine of the stuff. Well, now we better say, what's the derivative of the stuff? That go to a new line. I'll make that dot there. Everybody see that as 4x cubed plus 1 raised to the half power? So it's 1 half 4x cubed plus 1 to the negative half, then what do I have to do? i got to take the derivative of the inside. How about 12x squared? And that is the derivative of that function. All right? It links through 1, 2, 3, 4 times. It has three multiplications. And it's the power rule followed by chain, chain, chain. Okay?